Hey, how's it going, Jason? Uh, we looked at and watched the video that you gave us uh, last time uh, about your the AMA. We were really excited and we were really uh, interested to know up more about you and the project. And uh, could you uh, give another um, introduction to yourself? And uh, I'm sure there's a lot of like new audience in this video, uh, Jason. Sure. Yeah, I'm just uh, continuing the, the journey through um, purchasing and uh, seeing how this crazy world of NFTs and and uh, seeing the excitement of everybody getting uh, in on the NFT action with uh, Daffy Panda ganging up is all working out and everybody's having a lot of fun. By the way, I'm Jason Stelzel, in case you didn't know. And uh, that's what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to talk about Daffy Panda ganging up and uh, what everybody's been doing with it. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. So let's go uh, for to like the, some of the questions that uh, a lot of like our audience are going to be interested about. So um how do i choose or confirm that uh, i am on the bsc chain for mint oh wait a minute did you want me to get, uh there was another introduction that i was going to give oh, you first okay. i guess so, so sorry yeah i was expecting i'll give you the many the, the many of you bought our first ones that first part okay yeah let, let me okay, kind of yeah. let's just like restart it. i mean you still have that take from the other one but i'll give it to you again anyway okay all yeah. right, all right. Uh, so yeah okay, okay. Hey, how's all it right. going, Jason? Um, we, we've <laughs> all watched your uh, last AMA, and uh, we are really excited about the DPG project and about Jason yourself, uh, wondering how you're hanging up to and how the project is developing. So could you uh, still uh, introduce yourself a little bit? I believe there's definitely a lot of uh, new audience here in this video. Sure. I'm Jason Stelzel. I'm the uh, head of partnerships here. And uh, today we're just going to be talking a little bit more about uh, DPGU, Daffy Panda ganging up, and the fantastic journey that we've all been on here, purchasing our NFTs and seeing how everything's been going. And um, just to tell you a little bit about how, how the process has been working out. Uh, many of you bought our first offering of DPGU NFTs on the ETH chain and our first 2000 sold out really fast. Um, but one of the issues that we heard about from many of you was that the gas fees for ETH were really high. Um, so what we did was, is we opened up a small part of the BSC chain for sale, but because we are not the ones doing the release mint, our users won't be the initial users to get DPGU. Now, I know this is frustrating. So in the next pre-sale, we're going to be using both the ETH chain and the BSC chain to sell DPGU simultaneously. And this is going to allow people to freely choose either of the chains for minting according to their own situation. Um, so now when minting on the official website, you do need to make sure that your wallet is attached to the same chain network as the one you're minting on. So minting on a chain network that's different from where your wallet is located is a good way to lose your NFTs. So truly be very careful. Wow. And so with that, I'll send it back to you. So you have about some questions from our users. Sure. Wow, it sounds really exciting to, uh, to see DPGU is also releasing on the BSC chain. So uh, one of the questions uh, that many want to ask is that, how do I choose or confirm that I am on the BSC, BSC chain for minting? Ah, great question. On the official website for DPGU, after logging into your wallet, first check whether the chain network where your wallet address is located is on the BSC chain. And if not, you can switch to BSC directly right on our website. Oh, okay. So if I accidentally minted DPGU on the ETH chain, can I still go to the BSC chain for mint? Well, the short answer is yes, we support minting on ETH, but we also support minting on BSC. You can even mint on both, if you like, up to 10 each from that single address for a grand total of 20. So you're good. 
So can I transfer the DPGUs on the purchased ETH chain to BSC? So it's not available yet. We are working on a transfer function that will eventually allow this to happen on the official website, and you'll be able to transfer DPGUs between both chains. But it's still going to take some time before this capability is ready, and we're going to announce it as soon as it's available. But until then, we recommend that users don't try to transfer their DPGUs randomly as there's a chance that they could be lost and not recoverable. So until then, we suggest that you just keep them where they are until this function gets developed. Oh, sure. Thanks for the uh, advice. So will PandaCoin be listed on uh, any exchanges? What are the uh, advantage of retaining a larger amount of like pandas? The DPGU won't be listed on any exchanges because it's an NFT that simply gives you access to the Arc of Panda game. It also allows you to invite other users into the game and enjoy 5% of the revenue that they generate. You'll also get various airdrop benefits from the Voice Street platform. Um, so the Voice Street tokens would be the ones that would be listed on the exchanges, not DPGU. Okay, thanks. So what are the functions of the uh, NFT? I answered some of this in an earlier question, but let me add some detail. The DPGU NFT is basically how you enter the Arc of Panda game. Uh, it's also what allows you to invite other players into the game where you will then receive 5% of whatever revenue they generate during a play within the game. And then later, it'll end up being the ticket to getting airdrop benefits as well. So owning your own DPGU NFT is a good thing. Okay, sure. So can DPGU cross Solana chain uh, in addition to the uh, two other chain, including BSC, Ethereum? Can it be on? Uh, can it be the first NFT to cross major BSC chain, ETH chain, and the Solana chain? You know, it's a, it's a good idea uh, about linking the three chains, BSC, Ethereum, and Solana to each other. But our main focus right now is on the ETH and BSC chains. We're also putting a lot of effort into docking the BSC chain cooperation and connectivity across chains. So DPGU can interface with each chain's technology. And that's really what our main focus is right now. Um, so about whether to cross the Solana chain, we haven't included it in our planning yet. But as the project progresses and as we flesh out our development plans, there's still a chance that we'll include support for Solana across the chain um, in the future. But uh, just keep an eye on our official website to learn more about our latest development plans. Okay, sure. Thanks. Um, thanks so much. So what can be uh, gained for our, us as like player from uh, DPGU? Well, once you own your DPGU NFT, you'll be the first to gain access to GameFi games. You'll also be able to invite others to the game and receive 5% of the revenue generated by them, which is cool. Uh, we're also going to airdrop various benefits to DPGU owners in the future. And as usual, for more information, you can follow our official channel to learn more. Oh, sure. So what are these uh, airdrops that you, uh, you, you're just saying? Uh, I keep hearing them and how do I keep, uh, how do I get them? Well, the airdrops are the benefits that we give to our users who own DPGU. And as long as they own DPGU, the airdrop benefits will go out to them. For example, the subsequent initial music offering or IMO listing event of VS platform and IDO listing events will also directly airdrop VST tokens to DPGU holders. Wow, that sounds like really amazing. Um, so will there be one, of, uh, one for each address of the airdrop or according to the number held in the address? We're gonna have various airdrop benefits for users who own our DPGU. This will be an exclusive benefit for our DPGU owners, and we're going to announce the specific rules of the airdrop later so you can follow our official channels for the latest information. Okay, so would there be any uh, more celebrities or any organizations to work uh, with later on for the project? 
Yeah, we're working with many celebrities, such as American singer Kevin Shin, who will be licensing song rights from the Voice Street catalog. And we have others that we're currently negotiating with as well. But as usual, for all the latest deals and updates, you can follow our official channel to get the latest news. Okay, sure. So when will the public sale start after the end of the wide list? What, uh, what is the price? We won't start the public sale directly after the end of the white list. There will be a series of events later on to coincide with our DPGU sale. Uh, you can find details about the date and price once it's announced on our official website channel. Okay, sure. So when will the game come out? Uh, what's the economic model behind it? The game will be online soon around January, I think for testing. Our economic model should be announced around that time as well. And you can follow our official channels for related information. Okay, sure. So and I know a lot of, of, our, uh, of our audience is really curious about the project and a lot of them is uh, like uh, new from here. So they're wondering uh, where is the, this project actually allocated, uh, located? <laughs> We're a distributed team of members uh, from pretty much all around the world. We're in the US, we're Singapore, Taiwan, Spain, and other countries literally all around the world to better serve the project. Uh, our CEO, uh, 15 years of experience as a full stack developer and complex system architect, uh, is a former executive of software development at Morgan Stanley. Uh, our CMO uh, is a Haas School of Business, UC Berkeley. Uh, as a top executive in Lehman Brothers, Merrill Lynch, Bank Suisse, and was a managing director at Pali Capital at Gazul Group. And uh, that was it. Yeah, okay. So can you only get into the game by if you, uh, you just buy a DPGU NFT? As I mentioned before, owning a DPGU NFT is your only guaranteed ticket into the Arca Panda, but... You can also be invited into the game by someone who owns a DPGU NFT. NFT owners also receive 5% of the revenue generated from those they invite and also become eligible for airdrops that will happen later once the game begins. Well, thanks, Jason. Um, I think that's all of the question that we need. Uh, do you have any last words for uh, the people in our audience that's watching this video? Well, I hope this helps to answer some of the questions about the game and for anything else, please just visit our official website and until next time, I'm Jason Stelzo and thanks for watching.